What's up? What's up, guys? What's up, YouTube? What's up, Sue? You know, what's up, wherever you're watching me from, bro? I don't know, bro. I don't know what is actually going on, but I'm just. Should I say I'm disappointed? Something? Because I'm not expecting. I'm not expecting what is going on. You get it? Even though, yes, what the LJ did was wrong, okay, by publicly insulting somebody, which is wrong, but I just want to say to each and every one of you guys, man, that sometimes... Sometimes our people do real mess up. Our people in charge do mess up. I saw this video a few minutes ago. Okay, and now I'm just trying to think like each and every one of you, but I just feel like everything is fishy with this situation. So I saw this this video a few minutes ago. Okay, about L and J stuff, and I want you guys to watch it. If this is your first time, please, I don't talk about policies because what I'm about to unleash, you feel like this guy talks about politics. Please, I don't do politics. Don't you make any political comment here. Okay? I don't do politics, please. This is just uh, a civil union talking. Okay? Good. So, I want you guys to watch this video and then I'll be back with the, the breaking news. Which some of you guys have seen. The Sierra Leone police has declared Sierra Leone hip hop star Al Haji Amadubara, popularly known as LJ Wanted, for publicly insulting a female journalist, Asma James of Radio Democracy 98.1. The Inspector General Michael Ambrose Sovula has placed a ransom of 5 million yuns for anyone who will provide information to the world about of LJ. Reports. The declaration came about after the police have summoned the Sierra Leone hip hop star LJ for questioning, but he has failed to avail himself. The Inspector General of Police, Michael Ambusovola, therefore requests the public to assist the police with information that will lead to his arrest. On behalf of the Sierra Leone police, the management, the rank and file, we condemn that in a very strong term. We condemn it for someone to be insulting a female personality in this society. We have searched for him. We have used his telephone number to call him to come and explain. Well, I have asked the CID and they have issued arrest warrants for him. And I also ask media one to declare him wanted. And Bro, um, I'm kind of like shocked that the IGP or the IG is somehow active. With uh, with uh, LJ's show or LJ's case, so you know show, but LJ case like this, okay. And I'm about to read something. Like this thing when I read it, it's one of the most shocking, unveiling thing. And I want if you guys have the idea, I want you to tell me when do they form it? When? Okay, this is <clears throat> there's a press release. Some of you guys have 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 seen it, but I want I want to touch on something that is really important that that led to this breaking news there. Okay, they said the slash the slash commands uh, condemns attack on Asmus James of uh, Radio Democracy ninety eight point one FM. 
The Soviet Union Association of Journalists Edge today accompanied the situation uh, the station manager of Radio Democracy, Mrs. Asma James, to the cipher unit of the the Sierra Leone police to the cipher uh, sorry to the cyber unit of Sierra Leone police to make a formal complaint in relation to a video containing obscenities against a personality posted on social media by musician aka LJ. Radio Democrats, including other radio stations and newspapers, merely uh, reported what the magistrate order in the court sitting in, uh, involving LJ within any personal comments or reference to the musician, save the, uh, the particulars of the, the case which specifically named him and cut. Therefore, Slash is shocked by the content of the said video directly targeting the personality of an hard-working journalist who was just doing a normal work and the fact that it came from a musician whose career the media ought to build and who is expected to be a positive role model in society. Slash President Ahmed Said Nasula said, This is only this is not okay. Let me zoom it. This is not only an attack on one of our respected and outstanding female journalists, but also on our journalism profession and the woman of the nation of this nation. This is absolutely unacceptable, and we condemn it entirely. Our society does not deserve this kind of uncounted behavior. Regrettably, we know that ad and repetition of our dear colleague will not be redeemed by any penalty that will be meant on the alleged perpetrator, but we will not rest until justice is served. Meanwhile, while we leave the civilian police to do their work, Slash calls on the media houses in the country to blacklist musician aka LJ and ensure that he doesn't enjoy any favorable coverage until a uh, until he possibly apologized by Mrs. James and her family and to the journalists and women of this country. Okay. So bro, what I want to take what I want to think uh, uh, what I want to pick on right there. Okay, we'll come to this one. This whatever they, they, they want to do. But I want to pick on this cyber unit of the Sierra Leone police, please, when did they establish this cyber unit? Please, if you guys have an idea, let me know, okay? When did they establish this cyber unit? And what is the particular function of the cyber unit in Sierra Leone? Because I know what cyber unit is. But I want to know in Sierra Leone, what is the cyber unit's function? The reason why I'm asking... Upon all the insults that has been going on on social media, these people only focus on what LJ said. Upon all the insults, a police officer came to my own page and insulted me. I made a video for uh, of him when he did that. Nobody took that case. Upon all the insults, there are some of the big, big representatives in the country that have been insulting people left, right, center. They never, they never make a case against them. No one made a case. So tell me, the cyber units, what is, what was, what's your guys' function? I, because... I'm confused as hell to know that there is cyber units in Sierra Leone and cyber bully is the order of the day in Sierra Leone. Cyber bully is the order of the day in Sierra Leone, which makes a lot of people to lose their insanity. Please, what is the, 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 the cyber units of the police of Sierra Leone doing? Is it like it's always you have you people that have a, a specific people that you have attacked when you see them, you'll be happy to what to restrain them. 
Some of you guys are shouting the woman, the woman, the, 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 the journalist, the this, the, the. Bro, this is a simple idea. This is simple understanding. If nothing or no news was read about LJ, nobody, I repeat, nobody would have said anything against the woman. Even LJ himself. You guys are all saying she is this, she is that, she is this. We get it. The same way LJ is. Is a human. Is doing his own thing. But if you guys pick on him all the time for little things and then ignore other people when they do their own thing, bro, that is bad. Cyberbullying is out of the day in civil union and you guys have no plan and uh, find ways to attack it. But because you feel like a big personality has been insulted, when the political leaders, they, that, is, that, is their, that is their standard, to insult each other every day on social media. The political leaders in civil union, that is what they do. Please, how many of them have been arrested for cyber crime? What is going on? How do you guys operate? Why do you guys like to squeeze people who are not actually supposed to be squeezed, bro? This is wrong. When that dude was crying out to Spain about people doing all sorts of things, how many of you guys took up that case? Let's reason. How many of you guys took up the case? When LJ is complaining that people are not even coming when he goes to court, how many of you guys took up the case and now you say you want to ban all this whatever, whatever on media so they will not even interview him or know that? Bro, that's all is for what? It made an apology letter. And what else do you need? All the people that you guys have posted on your whatever media, wrongly and falsely, if those people took uh, take advantage of those kind of things that you guys have done to them, do you think you sit there and go and make a report? Like you'll be fighting case at the court. More cases. Why do you guys like to take advantage of people like that, man? This is sad. This is not correct. Man, I don't care what you guys have to say, but we have to stop this thing. Cyberbullying is the order of the day. And one particular person did that, and now I'm seeing a cyber unit. Cyber unit, like, really? Since when? Since few days ago. And how many people have been arrested? When the police officers themselves are even disguised and having fake accounts, insulting people with their political people back and forth. You have not arrested none of them. I called out a police officer here and he was begging me. And you have not arrested none of them. Man, 